Well, since I'm now thinking about regular show after my last video, I might as well get this episode off my chest. Ultimatum. Ugh, this episode. Alright, I'll just say one thing about my previous video about cat videos. I gotta give it credit. It's not a bad episode. It is nowhere near the level of this piece of shit. It is, this episode... Ah, fuck. The first time I watched this episode, I was really fucking pissed after it. I just... It's one of those those episodes that can put you in a really bad mood after watching it. The one that make you the ones that make you so mad behind the logic of it, like make you question what people were thinking when they wrote it. Ultimatum is that episode of regular show, and in my opinion, the worst episode of the show. So what is it about? Well, it's basically about this burger fast food truck coming around once every hundred years or something and delivering like the best burgers in the world and Mordecai and Rigby of course want to eat them but they can't because Benton is giving this huge shitload of work that they have to do because they didn't do it yet and here's the first problem with the episode that I have to say that show don't tell see all we get in it is exposition on that Mordecai and Rigby are slackers and how they need to catch up on all this work they, did, they didn't do last week before they go get the burgers. And the problem is we don't see any of that. That doesn't make for good storytelling at all. Yes, it's pretty clear set stone in the show that they, Mordecai and Rigby don't do their work all that often. <clears throat> However, they still need to show that to help Benson's argument holds some weight, which it barely does, and especially going through the episode, they keep doing their work, so much of it, and Benson's just has this, gives off this really bad, pissed off vibe, and that's another problem with this episode, Benson. Benson is fucking terrible in this episode. He, this is the most unlikable he has ever gotten. Alright. <sighs> I know this show is great at using unlikable characters well. That's one reason why I love this show so much. And I still like it because of that. It can take unlikable characters and give them certain quirks and personality things and whatnot to still keep them in that likability meter. Benson does not have that. He comes off, comes off as an abusive boss even at points when he's just forcingly grabbing them and pushing them out to, to the next job oh, job it's just really hard to watch it's yeah this episode to put a long story short this episode is a torture porn in my opinion where it just exceeds the only purpose of it is to show Mordecai and Rigby suffer trying to get these burgers which spoilers they never get them and see this is a big problem with these episodes. They need to have, like, to make torture episodes work, which I believe this is a torture episode, which that I believe, it, you need to have karma. See, you gotta make the show with these characters being unlikable. But it just comes off as harsh because they never show that. They come off as too sympathetic. Mordecai and Rigby just... You see, you Sorry to explain. It's like they need to be characters like Johnny Test, where they, where in that show out is complete and utter shit. But I'm just borrowing it as an example, where you need to make the characters rightfully unlikable, like show them purposefully not doing it, like at the beginning what I already said, and. They need to show them not doing their work. So Benson would be rightfully pissed off, but they never show it. And it even gets worse when all the other characters are done and eating their burgers, and then Benson's just. Ah. Uh, I, I don't even want to say it anymore. But basically, when Mordecai and Rigby finally try to get their burgers, then. 
these two reflections of them that they try to use to trick Benson to actually finally get the burgers, which they did deserve. Then they, reflections of them, in this weird glass thing, it's hard to describe what it is. <coughs> uh, they end up fighting those things for a little while in a decent climax, I'll give it that. It is a decent fight, but you know what happens? They never get to eat them. Benson just eats both of the damn burgers. See, the... Uh, it's like, they, so they do all that fucking work, get treated like shit the whole episode, come up, and not, that's it. It's basically just Squidward. That's pretty much it. This is pretty, pretty much the regular show version of the Squidward torture porn. They never get rewarded in the end, and the bad guy, yes, I'm calling Benson an antagonist in this episode because he is, and the antagonist gets away with everything. And that Mordecai and Rigby never get a break, which is not how you're supposed to do these types of episodes. This episode is just awful. Uh, I cannot believe how unlikable Benson is in this episode. That's just something I just can't understand why. I mean, I kind of do, but yet you could argue that past episodes sort of carry over and in this one, like... But, in my opinion, it, it, this goes beyond that just that. It's like, where you should expect him to at least cool down or something, like, see see their suffering. Mark and Rigby sort of kind of suffering, I guess. I don't know. And they deserve a break. It's just... None of this episode really works. It feels very clumsy in its story telling and no, no good humor at all. I never remember laughing at anything in the episode. All I can give it credit for was a decent climax. Other than that, this episode is shit. I, that's it. I'm done. I, I can't say anymore. Goodbye.